Good morning, y'all. It is Friday morning, about 9-12. Hazel and I are taking our first little adventure in the van. We're going to Santa Ana to spend the day with Susan and Stephen. Now, I met Susan and Stephen, several of us YouTubers met them because they were at the casino when Jay and I went up for uh, the YouTubers meet in Washington. They are such a sweet couple, y'all. And, um, woo, that better. Anyway, that's where we met them. And um, they were so sweet and so kind. They bought dinner for at least 10 of us, I think. We had a big, long table, and we went to the buffet at the casino. Just wonderful, wonderful people. And I don't feel free to, um, you know, talk about anything about their personal life. But what I will say and ask is your prayers. Now, I don't think that you have to be specific with the Lord. It's good if you can. But if you just say, Stephen and Susan, I'm sure he's going to know who you're talking about. And they definitely need our prayers, you all. I am so excited. We're on our way right now. And um, Santa Ana is about 69 miles from here. Now, distances online tells me that I can get there in an hour and a couple minutes. Well, you know, I don't think they're really um, taking into consideration the traffic. I'm going west on the 78. And then I will take the I-5 north. Now, y'all, no telling what kind of traffic we're going to run into. But I don't care. I'm going to try to be there in time for lunch. And I'm sure I will be. I just ask God for a safe, uneventful trip. And that we not hurt anything with a heartbeat. So, y'all, I am just so stoked and you can see back there in the back I think I didn't want you to I'm gonna have Susan help me do <coughs> excuse me a video on um, what I've gotten done so far it's been a lot of fun you guys but let me tell you it was a lot of work and I'm not done yet so, Susan has graciously um, offered to help me if I want to do Reflectix. Um, she's offered to help me sew whatever I want to. She has a sewing machine. So, we're going to have some fun, you guys. And I might even spend the night. If they have a Planet Fitness, now I don't want to, I know I could spend the night with Susan and Steven, but I really don't like to have to do that um, if I can avoid it. So anyway, they probably have a Planet Fitness, Santa Ana is pretty big, and, um, and a place for me to park which I can park anywhere. I mean, this is a soccer mom vehicle. Now, my windows are tinted enough in the back that I don't have to worry if I have all the lights out at night. People can't see in. They're not going to be able to. But curtains or some kind of window coverings are necessary because I love to watch Hulu on my tablet or read on my tablet. And that throws a fair amount of light out. Also, it's nice to have one little light on to help with the ambiance, ambiance, 
I'm not sure. Y'all, I tell you what, it's been so long since I have been at school. I mean, I won tons of spelling contests when I was in school. Tons of them, really. I could spell just about anything they threw at me. And I'm sure that's because as soon as I learned to read, one of my favorite things was to get the dictionary. What kind of kid was I? <laughs> what kid gets the dictionary out and learns new words and how to pronounce them and use them in a sentence? But I loved doing that when I was a kid. My mother used to have to run me out of the house. She'd say, Deborah Joy, you need to get out and get the stink blown off you. So I would go out with the book under my shirt, grab my horse, throw on a bridle, grab a blanket. I usually did not use a saddle at all, you guys. Now, if I rode someone else's horse, yes, I did. But I trusted my horse. He knew me. I rode bareback all the time. And a lot of times, I didn't ride on a blanket. The reason I took the blanket was so that I would have something to spread under a big tree. I would share my apple with Trigger. Yeah, that was his name. He was a Palomino. And we would head out uh, to the far edge of the 80 acres and throw down underneath a tree and I would read and nap. And then I would go home and my mother was satisfied. So anyway, y'all, I apologize for not uh, having the correct pronunciation, um, even the right words sometimes just escapes me. But I put a couple of videos up, you guys, uh, right before I left. And um, I am for the next probably couple of days I may not be able to get to comments to answer them, but I always do scroll through and read them all. I try really hard to answer everybody's comments. Now, I will say that sometimes I will tap on the reply button and it won't let me leave a reply or a comment. Now, I don't know why that is, y'all, but I am not picking and choosing who I respond to. Not at all, never, ever. So please know that, okay? Now, I'm gonna turn this off. Hazel's over here. She got a bath this morning. She was not happy with me, I can tell you. So anyway, um, she's all nice and clean. And she's over here in her bed. Traffic's moving along pretty good. And uh, I'm going to stop this for now. And y'all do something fun today. I'm doing something really fun. Bye, y'all.